Now, your first warm weather forecast from meteorologist Joey Marino. And good morning, everybody. Hopefully you're having a great start to your Wednesday. On the go takes us to the pumpkin patch, which opens up tomorrow. We're in Caledonia and it's been a rather chilly morning to start. We also had a little bit of fog. We've been walking around the uh, the establishment, showing you some of the fun stuff that they have and all the stuff you can see if you're making your way out here for opening day tomorrow. They open up at 9 o'clock. Now we've made our way to the witch's hut, and you can kind of see that she's not home at the moment. But what I want you to see is that she has her windows open, and it's been a window open uh, type forecast the last couple of days. We've had nice weather. We saw uh, a shower or two during the evening yesterday, but we saw some sunshine mixing through throughout the day. But let's take a look at what you're dealing with as you make your way out the door this morning. Temperatures, they're in the upper 40s and low 50s. Want to make sure to have that light jacket because winds are out of the north and northeast, so it does feel very fall-like. It feels a little chilly out there, and that's how we start off our day with cloud cover and also that fall like chill. So looking at our rundown for today, still some spots could run into some patchy fog. They did expire the dense fog advisory that was in effect for our three counties up in southern Wisconsin. Initially, it was supposed to run until nine o'clock, but the fog let up a bit quicker than scheduled. So they did expire that dense fog advisory. Here's a look at visibility right now. I mean, if we look off to the east here from the pumpkin patch, we do have a little bit of fog, maybe about five to 10 minutes to our east. There's some fog tracking through. We're down to 0.5 mile visibility in Savannah, down to zero in Galena, 0.3 in Rochelle. So if you do still plan to travel uh, going into mid-morning, want to make sure to give yourself a little extra time. Temperatures, once we see the fog let up under a mix of clouds and sunshine, they will climb up into the upper 60s for most, but I think we'll top out at 70 degrees. Once we get into the evening, there will be a decrease in cloud cover, so we'll have a few clouds linger into the night tonight. So taking a look at future cast, we do have that patchy fog still lingering into mid morning. Once we get into the afternoon, we'll have a good amount of sunshine and that should warm us up into the upper 60s. The evening commute is going to be rather quiet and we'll stay quiet for much of the night tonight. But once we get into tomorrow morning, it's going to be a similar setup to this morning. We'll wake up to some patchy fog that will let up to partly cloudy skies, but winds tomorrow, they're going to be more out of the south and that's why we'll see warmer temperatures for Thursday and then also into Friday. But despite the fact that we're warming up the next couple of days, we do have a few rather chilly nights here in the state line. Looking at temperatures the next couple of nights, we'll be dropping down into the upper 40s tonight and Thursday, which is something that you typically feel in late September and early October. Then feeling like early September, we see a climb in our overnight lows going into Friday night, and that's all ahead of that cold front that comes in this weekend. But opening day is tomorrow. They do open up at 9 o'clock, 74 for a high temperature Still expecting some fog for the morning commute and into mid-morning, but we should have partly cloudy skies once we get into the afternoon, and that will allow us to feel comfortable once again with 74 for a high temperature. Now, looking at temperatures moving forward, you can see we have 74 for tomorrow, 76 for Friday under partly cloudy skies, so high pressure is going to keep us dry. The next couple of days, we did talk about that cold front for Saturday. That could bring us a shower or a thunderstorm. That should continue into Saturday evening before we see things dry out again going into Sunday, and then next week, temperatures will climb back towards that 80 degree mark. But as Whitney and David have been talking about with that seven day forecast, there's a lot of opportunities to have fun here at the pumpkin patch. Again, they open up tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. We'll send it back to the studio. They're taking the jacket off. It's getting nice. I know. Got to get all the decorations up too. All right, Joey, we appreciate it. It is 818.